Now that you've finished with your analysis, you're going to be working with an amazing visualization program known as ggplot. You realize something though, as you were working on this, which is that because you have multiple visualizations and you want a consistent theme across all of them, you'd like to figure out how to make that simple and repeatable. So the simple way to do that, of course, is to create your own theme. So let's start by doing that. We're going to have our theme generic is what I'm going to call this one. And we have our function that follows and it's going to be based off of the theme minimal. So that's what I chose to start with because it's going to be the closest to what I want it, the end result to be. We follow that up with our theme arguments, all of the individual pieces that we want to change from theme minimal. And at the end, we mentioned that this is going to be complete so that ggplot knows that the theme is finished and it can move on from there. So let's take a look at how this would look and in the real world with an actual example. As we go to here with my title dot or my title underscore bar chart here, this is going to be piped into all the ggplot elements. And as you can see, the way that I call theme generic is pretty simple. The same way that you would call any other theme, simply say theme underscore generic parentheses, and then I add in the next elements. So it's very simple once you've got it there and it's one line ready to go for you. If you have any other questions or any other suggestions on how to do your visualizations with ggplot, I'd love to have a conversation with you down in the comments. To the stars!